YouTube universe. What is going on, all my hitmen and Harley Quinns? You know who it is. It's your favorite mother freaking role model, the Buddhist with an attitude, aka Mr. Wonderful, Hitman Thornton Ferrari Action TV. What's going on, peoples? Coming fresh off my birthday, my B day yesterday. Thank you, thank you. I know. Anyway, a little late getting this out because I had so much happening. I've been trying to work on getting these out a little earlier, but okay, this episode, uh, okay, let's just jump right to it. Okay, spoiler review, spoiler alert. Oh, okay, okay, um, okay. He went through the time portal after Lady Loki, back at the TVA. She's going towards the golden elevator, but first she's taking out some guards here and there. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Find out her powers don't work. Oh, and Loki catches up to her. They go at it. Bam, bam, bam. Whoosh, whoosh. And Ravana, Judge Ravana, whatnot, runs up. She catches up to them. And she's about to say, hey, you know, back off or I'm going to kill Loki. And she's like, oh, well, go ahead. I don't give a damn. So then Loki has his little device. Boom, opens up a little portal door. They go through it. End up on this planet. I forgot the planet's name because this whole episode is just really frustrating. The only thing interesting that I found about this episode was Loki found out that People at the TVA weren't created there by the timekeepers. They are all, all variants that were kind of brainwashed to work there. <sighs> Ended up on this planet that's getting destroyed by this moon that's falling apart, which is kind of weird, and the whole gravitational aspects of it, because the planet's own gravitation and physics, people. I'm I'm not a I'm not in. I'm not about all that, but it just it was kind of weird. Um, this whole thing felt like a date, like they were on a date, getting to know each other. Tell me about your dad. Tell me about your mom. Tell me about your life. Where did you grow up? Well, uh, uh, well, you're adopted. So was I. Uh, well, so where are you about you? Um. Ah, stuff. Okay, with, did the CW write this episode? Okay, because I, this episode is supposed to be about Loki and his little what? I get it. It's a female version of him, so he's trying to figure it. I get it, but he could have figured this stuff out in what, maybe five, ten minute conversation. Why did this have to be drawn out? This whole episode to figure out who who she is. It, so they're wandering on the planet, and, and on top of that, he's trying to find, as this one YouTuber said, it basically a charger for their phone because his charger battery's running out. Are you serious? They get to this hut where they find this lady who's obviously going to stay there because she's one of those, uh, this planet's destroyed, I don't care, I'm not leaving. Standing my, whatever. And pointless going there, I don't know why they went there, I don't know why they wrote that, it's just okay. Then they get to this train because they had to figure out they needed a ticket to get on the train and I heard another YouTube, this kind of reminds me of uh, Snowpiercer. Only the rich people getting tickets to get on and all the poor people being left. Okay. They get on the train. Again. More talking. Why? About the same stuff that they could have finished the conversation during their walk, but it had to continue on the train. Okay. So. They continue. Talking about nothing 
Who's your dad? Who's your mom? Who are you? Where are you from? Why are you the way you are? Why are you like that? I don't know. Stuff, I guess. I don't know. She falls asleep, and next thing you know, Loki's getting drunk, having his party, getting his party on, singing, whatever. Then another person spots them, doesn't like what's happening, goes, tells the guards, hey, I don't like these people. They're singing, having a good time. They seem suspicious. A big, and of course, she wakes up and kind of spots the dude walking off, and he goes, gets the guards, and next thing you know, a brawl ensues. Because... They needed a fight segment to make it more interesting because obviously people are bored of the talking. They get thrown off the train. His little device thing, cell phone breaks. So now they're really upset. More walking and talking about nothing. They get to the city because that's where the shuttle is that's supposed to take people off the planet because the planet's about to be destroyed, like I said. And as they're going to the shuttle, I mean, the city itself looks pretty cool, the kind of Blade Runner-esque. Uh, nowhere from Guardians of the Galaxy, it looked kind of nowhere slash Blade Runner-esque, look kind of cool. But of course, they try to get to the thing, the shuttle, of course, they're being attacked by guards because I don't know why guards will be attacking somebody when the planet's being destroyed and everyone's trying to get on the shuttle. Don't you think that's where the main focus would be? All right. So they fighting these guards. Just because. Next thing you know, boom, the shuttle gets destroyed and now everyone's sitting there shitting their pants. Okay, what do we do now? And that's it. All right, people. I, it was mentioned by one YouTuber saying that this show basically seemed like filler, and it did. Some people did like this episode. They figured some stuff out in it and figuring, you know, trying to get to know each other and they're figuring all those dynamics and intricacy. Inc well, I can't even say that word. Details about each other and past and all that. And I get all that. But it could have been handled in a five, 10 minute conversation while they were walking before they got to the damn train, is my point. So, they, 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 we got what we got. So there's supposed to be six episodes with this show. This third, let's wrap it up people. Come on now. This, this episode was 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 just was meaningless shoe leather. I mean, come on now, come on, really, come on now. It's obviously Owen Wilson is and Loki have a better dynamic when they're on screen together. This it felt like a date. Again, the CW people write it write this episode because that's what it felt like. I'm watching an episode of The Flash or Arrow where. Flash's wife or on Arrow, Felicity, who always got something to say. You're Oliver Queen and you're getting told what to do and bitched at by her? Why? Anyway, not knocking female empowerment. Don't get me wrong, people. I'm just saying this episode was boring as hell. Oh, people. Anyway, <laughs> hit like, subscribe, share, leave comments down below on anything I might have missed or didn't quite get or understand that I'm missing in this episode. Tell me what you liked about the episode. Um, Till next time, Hitman Thorn for Raw Reacting TV, the Buddhist with an attitude, a.k.a. Mr. Wonderful. Until next time, peace out. Be at yes. And definitely hit that like button because it gets my videos out to the masses so you grow, so your favorite mother freaking role model can grow and blow the spot in this YouTube universe and become the Thanos. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so till next time, peace out, bitches, and to remember to always 
stay zen as fuck.